Welcome back, everybody. We're working in the shed uh, right now. Um, one of these weird weather days. A few days ago, like I said, it was like cold enough where the salt water froze over. And today, it's going to be 74 degrees Fahrenheit, and we have a severe thunderstorm warning and maybe possible tornado tornadic activity a little later on. So crazy. And then uh, two days from now, it'll go back to cold. So, so we're gonna. Y'all probably been watching those videos where we built the fork. Well, this is a, gonna be a spork. All right, you can see the spoon and the, uh, the fork end of it. And still working on the profile and everything and slowly gouging out the bowl for the, the spoon section of it. And just been uh, cleaning up some of this uh, sawdust and Anyway, kind of rearranging stuff where it's easier to find. But I guess we're just going to have to wait and see what the weatherman holds. But we're going to do some, uh, definitely do some inside uh, work today. Just making real small, gentle shavings out of this, uh, spoon cavity as you know spoons aren't real deep so we don't want to go too crazy and obviously we're going to have to take down uh, a section here some and this is really going to look neat once it finally gets done alright Let's see here. We use our little hatchet here to kind of take the profile down just a little bit. Makes me some really unique uh, markings when you finally uh, add the uh, olive oil beeswax finish and it goes slow man that's all I, that's the advice I can give to you it goes slow if you're making this big old honking uh, ladle type thing take some nice little wax at it we're, we're going to get around to stuff like that but right now we're just uh Taking it easy. Want the uh, spoon part to have a raised uh, lip here, so we don't want to get too close to the end. And the fork part, we went going with a three tine instead of a four tine thing. Uh, give them some strength, and uh, obviously we'll thin this up some, but I want this to be kind of a robust uh, spork type of a thing. Yeah, the weather is really going to uh, get much, much, much colder here in about three days. And we'll get back out and do some camping and stuff. But about the last five days, man, it's been 65, 70-something. Uh, um, everything. Oh, we had a, a storm wind come through here a week or so ago. And it blew a steeple right off the top of a church. So, I'm going to leave my old tent with a handle these type of coastal winds all right we're getting that bowl uh gouged out and there's another one that I, i've kind of designed to it's kind of the bowl uh, will be kind of off slant and it's kind of set up for a four prong uh, fork thing so we're going to try two different ways of doing this uh, shapes and see how this uh goes I'd have to go ahead and eventually buy myself a gouge, but 
uh, so far this is working pretty good you just gotta go slow obviously you collapse any portion of this lip you know you have to back off your dimensions for it but take a look so we're getting there I'm gonna leave the meat on it back here until we're finished doing all this uh, harsh work so it don't break anything. But we're getting there. Yeah, I hear the birdies. They probably know it's gonna storm too. Anyway, that's about as far as we'll take this video. These type of videos are definitely uh, multi-parters. Yeah, any of you guys and ladies that know about this carving stuff you know you don't want to force it you don't want to go too far too fast it'll break 